In today's FX markets, I want to focus on the British pound. It was the biggest mover of the day. We saw quite a reaction to some of the headlines coming out of the UK today. And I'm looking at the British pound is down about 1.6% on the day. That March contract uh, right around the one spot, 3158 levels. So that's well off the highs that we saw just a couple of days ago. That was last Friday session. And when you look at some of the price action here, you know, basically we are seeing uh, a, quite a reaction to some of the unfolding stories now that we made it through the snap elections and now the Conservative Party took the majority uh, in Parliament. Now it's where the rubber meets the road, I guess. And certainly Boris Johnson indicating today that he's trying to push through a measure to make it a law that they have to have this Brexit situation resolved by the end of 2020. And that means deal or no deal. And I think that's the big driver here today is the concerns, at least from a short term perspective, that uh, the idea of bringing the no deal Brexit back into play is something that the market doesn't particularly feel too strongly about. At least uh, that is appears to be part of the catalyst for the weakness today. Also, I think if you look at some of the data points coming out, you continue to see some slowing uh, economic numbers coming out of the UK as well. So they're going to have to, those numbers are going to now become much more in focus uh, as they move towards some type of resolution there, I think, on this Brexit. And also a couple of that with just the dynamics of, of the negotiations that have to be completed uh, somewhere you know in this cycle as far as the, when they're going to set those deadlines uh, the hard border with um, Northern Ireland is being uh, again a big issue underneath the surface here that the market's very concerned about in particular if they move towards a no deal type of structure looking at uh, the trends in place uh, I, it's very uh, interesting to see that we are seeing basically all the gains post-election uh, given uh, coming back uh, or being given up in the last couple of days. We saw a high just uh, on last Friday of one spot uh, three, five, four, eight. So again, quite a bit higher and pushing up at that psychological level, one spot three, five and trending back down now. And if you look at from a trend standpoint, a trend line uh, from this most recent run, we are running into that right now at the current level. Uh, so I think if we were to break through one spot 313, uh, that would break the uptrend. And then that would put some of the price action back in the onus, if you think of where the prices were trading before the election and a possibility of seeing the British pound trending back down to that one spot 30 level. So we are seeing, again, a reversal here. Uh, the market's giving up basically the gains post-election. And now it's incumbent upon the market, I believe, to hold this level because we are breaking the most recent uptrend.